They say life on a farm is a school of patience. You can hairy crops or hatch an egg in less than 21 days. Well, folks, at Ota Farms, we keep making the impossible possible. Our modern high-tech incubators were able to start the hatching process from day 20, and we were at 90% hatchability by day 21. Folks, that is incredible because most hatchery never even get to 90% hatchability, but we were able to get to 90% hatchability by day 21. In this video, I'll walk you through our entire hatchery and show you our process of hatching chicken eggs. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, this is the time to make your presence felt by hitting that subscribe button and at the same time, smashing the notification bell. Support our channel by hitting the subscribe button to motivate us to create more content like this. See you on the other side. The first part of our hatchery is the egg receiving room. This is the area where we actually receive the egg, sort them out, and then before taking them into the cooling room. The next section is, is the cooling room, but right here, this is where we actually receive all our eggs. We've, we're actually clearing out everything right now to actually set the benches and then uh sanitize everywhere so that's why you see the whole area is completely empty but after the egg receiving room it's uh the you're going to get into the egg candling room the first section right here is the egg candling room egg candling is where you actually select the uh fertilized from the unfertilized because not all the eggs that arrive at the farm will be fertilized and next to that is actually the egg cooling room where right here, this is where you put all the eggs because once the egg arrive, you don't they don't go straight into the incubator. They sit in here for at least 24 to 48 hours before you transfer them into the incubator. You have to make sure that the room is actually set at 16 degrees. Right now, the temperature is, uh, is not yet at 16 degrees, but it's going to go up gradually uh, because there is an air conditioner in there. Right now, it's at 23 degrees, but it's going to go down. Sorry, it's going to go down gradually. So. Um, once the egg arrives in the farm, one, the first thing you want to do is set them, let the egg set, let the, the yolk or the, the, those, the yolk to set down, to settle, because they, during transportation, they move. You don't want to move them straight into the incubators. If you do that, it's going to re reduce the hatchability. So you want to set them for at least 20, 24 to 48 hours. Cool them down. They should be cooled down. Now, the next section is our incubator room. Right now, we have one. There are two more in the container that are coming in from China. This is the first incubator. It's a 10,000 capacity incubator. And right here you see these are the racks. This, uh, these are the, the racks that actually have those um, uh, hatching baskets. So the first part of the, the racks is where you actually set the eggs. The eggs will sit on those racks from day 1 to day 18. From day 18 to day 21 is, is, is when you put you transfer the eggs from the racks into those baskets, the yellow basket, and they sit in the basket and the chicks now start hatching from those baskets. This incubator is fully automatic. So once the egg arrive, all you need to do is set the eggs, put them in there, and then let the incubator know what type of egg, whether it's chicken, dogs, or quails. It doesn't matter. This incubator is absolutely amazing. It rotates and also adjusts the temperature based on the type of bird that you have in there. From day one to day 18, it will actually rotate and stop the rotation automatically from day 18 all the way to day 21 because they know that from day 21, from day 18 to day 21, that's when the hatching starts. It stops the rotation and also it will adjust the temperature to uh, 37.7 degrees um, Celsius and 57% humidity. And that was from day one to day 18. After day 18, it's going to now re reduce the temperature to 36.9 and increase the humidity to 70%. The, everything is done automatically. You don't even have to go there and adjust it. But mark you, power outages will actually affect that. And that's why we recommend having one, a stabilizer, two, a backup battery. You want to make sure that your incubator is on 24 7. It's been more than 48 hours. We actually let the eggs sit in here for two days and it's been more than 48 hours. And 
as you can see, one of our employees actually setting the eggs into the racks, the racks we talked about. They're going to set all the eggs on this rack before we actually move everything into the, uh, into the incubators. So once all the eggs are set, we will fumigate the place. Unfortunately, after the place has been fumigated, like right now, everything has been fumigated and set into. I cannot actually open the incubator. Unfortunately, at this particular point, I cannot open the incubator. All the eggs are in there and, uh, and the incubator is already running automatically. We just went in there and said that these are chicken eggs and it, it, it adjusted, it will actually control the temperature without our help. Everything is actually handled automatically. This is day 18. Day 18, this is when we are doing candling. And you can see everywhere is completely dark. Candling, do, when doing candling, you want the whole entire room to be dark. From day 18, we do candling. Day 18 is when we actually take out the eggs that we know they are not fertilized. Candling generally means just separating the, the eggs that are fertilized from the ones that are not fertilized. The ones that are fertilized, as you can see from our candling process, the ones that are fertilized will have a dark yolk, while the ones that are unfertilized will have a completely clear uh, uh, yolk. Let's just take a quick look and you will see for yourself, look right there, that one right there has a completely clear yolk. That means that particular egg right there is unfertilized. So it's immediately been taken out. This is our candle, this other one also. This is our candling process. This one, you see, that one is unfertilized. This particular batch had a lot of unfertilized eggs because uh, the, uh, the supplier of the of this um, eggs never, di they didn't do any egg selection for us. So we came, uh, we bought a lot of them and they came, uh, a lot of them came unfertilized. And one of this is at about 350 uh, francs CFA in Cameroon. Um, uh, it's not cheap. So when you get some of these eggs arriving unfertilized, it's costing you a lot of money. Folks, this is day 21. However, the hatching actually started a day before. One of our employees, there's an employee that goes in there to monitor the temperature. The employee heard squeaks of the birds inside the incubator. So the process already started from day 20. And by day 21, we had 90%. As you can see, most of the birds have already hatched. Most of them, you see the baskets, the hatching baskets, they are all full because we actually make sure that we take extreme precautions. Unfortunately, some of them were so active and jumped out and fell in the water. I think about 15 of them, 15 of them, fell inside the water and and uh, and died i think one of them um, about four of them survived uh, and then 11 of them 11 of them died before we could notice and those were the ones that actually hatched the day before and we didn't know not that we didn't know we knew they were they were actually hatched because they were actually the eggs were hatching they, you can never open the incubator before day 21 that's the rule of thumb even if they are being the eggs are hatching do not open the incubators before day 21. These chicks can fit, they, they can stay for 72 hours without any, without any food and they will still be able to survive for 72 hours after hatching. So they still have a lot of food reserve inside of them that can keep them for up to 72 hours. That's why you do not want to open it. Even if they start hatching from day, um, from day 19, leave it all the way to day 21 uh, to actually open the incubator. Uh, we were surprised to actually notice that a lot of them were already hatching from day uh, 20. As you can see, the hatching is actually still going on. Um, the chicks are coming out of the shells. Uh, they are cracking the shells by themselves. Um, they, this is again, this is day 21 and they're going to be, the incubator will be on again for, for the next three days. So for the after three days, uh, we normally take, but as uh, on the 24th day, we normally just uh, take the remaining eggs and just know that those eggs are not going to hatch regardless. There is no re point of leaving them in the incubator after 24 days. So we leave them in there for, uh, for the next four days to actually get the final tally of our uh, hatchability, the hatchability rate. And right now, 90% hatchability is a very good, uh, it's a very good rate for our incubator. Um, this is a very good incubator and that's why we decided to order two more of the same incubator. And right now you can see our, this is the uh, chick sorting process. 
we are separating the chicks that have hatched, putting them into the boxes, uh, uh, to be counting the number of chicks that actually hatch and putting them in the boxes, separating them from the eggshell. Uh, our employees, they do a thorough job. Again, they make sure that they separate the ones that are also not going to survive. Some of these ones are not going to survive. Some of them will have, will have their umbilical cord still there. So the ones that still have their umbilical cord, they will actually be separated because those ones, you don't, no matter what, they're not going to survive. You do not want to give those to your customers. You want to separate the ones that you know for a fact that they're not going to survive and, and uh, just put them aside. Do not supply those to your customers. If they get a very high death rate, a very high mortality rate, they're not going to come back to you. And plus, I mean, you just, you just don't do that. It's not, it's not a good practice. So folks, that was our hatchery. That is our process from egg receiving to egg cooling to candling to hatching. So we go through the whole entire process and we make sure that we sanitize the whole environment. If you are interested in actually taking in-person training in, uh, in our facility in Boya, Southwest region of Cameroon, you can always go to academy.otafarms.com to actually register or you can visit one of our locations in Cameroon to actually register for the training. But if you are interested in free online training, this is where you get all that resource. This is Ota Farms University, Ota Farms Academy, right here on YouTube. To learn more about poultry farming, hatching your fertilized eggs, and also mixing your own poultry feed from your farm, this is the channel where you can learn all that. Click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when we upload a new video showing you how to start and grow your own farm, you will get notified. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.